Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to listen to Touche Podcast Season 2. We strive to give you authentic, funny, and relatable content. In doing so, there will be times when we will curse or discuss sensitive subject matters. Like we said in Season 1, y'all can send complaints to touchepodcast at gmail.com. It'll give us something to laugh at. Now let's get to it. I'm Shay. I'm Shay too. Touche Podcast. We're here. Live in effect. We're still quarantining. Per usual. Yes. And if you guys have noticed, I have stopped bitching and I have finally did something to my nappy ass hair. This hey. time, it took longer than it did when I did this style the first time. And I think because this time I made my parts hella smaller when I got to the front. So it looks a lot fuller. So y'all can see, you know, my imperfections in my scalp. You look good. You know, I try, you know, trying to do my damn thing. Yesterday, I did kind of break quarantine for like a couple of hours. Um, People had to see you, huh? <laughs> you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I motherfucker had to get right. No, nah, I ended up going over my brother's house and he gave me a lining. I oh. said, my brother, like you ain't my sister. Um, my brother gave you a lining, bro? Yeah, he gave me a line and I had to fucking track his ass down like a goddamn bounty hunter. Can't nobody find this nigga for shit. He don't answer the phone. He don't answer text messages. He always answer my phone calls. Uh, yeah, lady was telling me he always answer her shit too. You gotta be the right person, I guess. So I was like getting ready to blow him up. Like fuck that. I can't live life without a. I need a line. So he gave me a line and y'all can't really tell. I mean, first off, the lighting is fucking sucky um also on that note i did order one of the little ring lights that you put on the computer oh, or the phone I, or the... I got one of those but i got work glasses and it shows oh like the reflection yeah but your thing ain't bad your lighting ain't terrible over there it, it still look kind of, it still look good over there like i feel like i got an ashy side right here oh. and it's probably because i'm sitting by the window but this light this room gets horrible lighting anyway so I ordered a ring light to put on top of the, the thing so y'all can see me a little bit better. So if but, um, you can't ball. really tell I got a line in because the one, the light is horrible. And two, I'm fairly light, lighter toned. So, you know, I try to do what I can. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I broke quarantine to get a line in. <clears throat> I prayed to Jesus. He forgave me. So... I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas talking about. Um, While I broke quarantine, I did, for the first time, have Ciroc vanilla, French vanilla. I was just going to say something else. No, Ciroc, motherfucker, the drink. Okay. My sister-in-law daddy brought it over. And when I tell y'all, that shit go down way too fucking smooth. Like, it's scary how smooth this shit go down. Nothing else but that? Huh? You drunk it waited by myself? Yes. Wow, you crazy. But I didn't have the whole, like the cup was about this big. I just had maybe like this much of it, but I had two cups of like this much of it. And I was like, it's crazy how smooth this shit is. And it smells really good. Like at first I didn't want to drink it because it smelled so goddamn good. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna drink it because who knows the next time I'm gonna be able to fucking have the opportunity to taste fucking Ciroc mm-hmm. French vanilla. So I went ahead and jumped on that opportunity. And uh, yeah, that sh- it was scary how smooth that shit is. Like, you definitely need to be at your own motherfucking residence when you drink that shit. That shit so. how it is with all liquor. No, no, no. But not all liquor go down. Like, I can't think of one liquor that I'm able to drink straight like that. Like a liquor, I'm able to drink coolers like that because that's like juice. But a straight liquor, I'm not able to drink any liquor straight like that outside of that French vanilla Syrah. Yeah, I don't have any hair on my chest, so I'm good on that. Is there any liquor you're able to drink straight? Mm-mm. I always mix it with... Uh, now, what I can do is uh, I can drink liquor with uh, fruit in my glass. That's still kind of mixing it, though, because then you got the juice from the fruit. Do you? If yeah. the fruit is fresh, yeah, it's a, like blackberries. Blackberry. If you don't bust them, 
then you won't necessarily get any juice. Hmm. Unless the blackberries is in there for a long time. Yeah, I was going to say, because wouldn't the alcohol from the drink kind of make open the blackberries a little bit? A little, just a little just a little bit just but it really depends on how long they up in there how long do you let yours sit in there now them motherfuckers be gone <laughs> so um yeah that's our miscellaneous news I, i'm just gonna go ahead and say you know what even though this is eight inch hair it looks way longer than when i did it the last time or the first time so probably it's huh probably because it's fuller yeah uh, so, um, yeah, this is going to be my go-to quarantine style. So y'all get used to seeing this shit because this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I did not, I know sometimes when people have done this style, they crochet the hair in their head, which, um. They crochet or latch hook. I'm getting ready to get there. I need for everybody to know the difference between a crochet hook and a fucking latch hook. As a matter of fact, I'ma pop pictures in this bitch. There. Because I am so sick and tired of people when they use a latch hook to put the hair in their hair and pull it through. That is a motherfucking latch hook. That is not a crochet hook. You can use a crochet hook to latch the hair in your hair, but it will be pointless because it will slip out. The reason it's called a latch hook is because there's a latch that hooks it. Hence the term latch hook. Mm -hmm. That's my rant for the day. Speaking of uh, crochet, huh? I just I started I started an Afghan. Let me see. It's in the other room. Oh no, I swear here, but I ain't done. I was gonna say, who the fuck is it? <laughs> you looked up like somebody was standing right there. <laughs> no, nah, it's hanging on their door. What color is it? It's all everything. Just random shit? Yep. Are you making it for somebody? Nope. For yourself? For your household? Yeah. Knox needs something. That's probably what it's gonna be. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this episode real quick. Um, we can get carried away with the miscellaneous news. I ain't talked to D Shay in like four days. So mm -hmm. um on today's episode, we got some random St. Louis facts. Um, and some of this stuff I did not know, some of the stuff D Shay knew, and uh some of the stuff I knew that maybe she didn't know. I don't know. But if you're from St. Louis or has ever lived in St. Louis or visited St. Louis, tell us if y'all ever knew any of these facts. So I'm just going to pick five because y'all know we're trying to keep our episodes under 30. So the first one is um, Seven Up was invented in St. Louis and continues to be manufactured in this city. Did you know that? Yes. You knew it was invented here? Yep. And you knew it continued to be manufactured here? Yes. The only part of that I knew was that it was manufactured here. I did not know it was invented here. Yep. Says a lot about me yep. knowing the history of the place that I live. Especially since you got a shirt on that says Missouri. <laughs> I know, right? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy that I am. But you know, and then matter of fact, like I passed that um the seven up plant the snapple seven up plant often on the famous notorious street page page motherfucking avenue that motherfucker run from the city to the county man um but yeah tell us if y'all knew that i didn't know both pieces of that i only knew one it seems like d is more um knowledgeable i try regarding the city that she's from um more barbecue sauce is consumed in St. Louis than any other city in the U.S. Yes. I feel like that's an opinion and not a fact. I don't know. People, a lot of people say that St. Louis got some nice barbecue, but all the barbecue that I, like, if it's not personally made, the bar, well, I don't really eat barbecue, so I can't really say that. Do you but eat barbecue anything? Like, huh? you eat barbecue to anything? Like maybe beef steak or something like that? 
I eat barbecue chicken and shit like that. But they'd be like, St. Louis is known for their barbecue. And it's like, mm. And see, that's the thing. Crazy enough, um, people, a lot of people say St. Louis is known for their barbecue. I've only had barbecue from a restaurant one time in my years of living here. Me any too. Other, any other barbecue that I've had has come from my mom. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's not personally made, then I really don't think that that, that yeah. statement or that fact is real. Like, but I'm not a heavy barbecue person, so. I'm telling you. I don't like having, barbecue sauce, so. I've been having a craving. And you know what it took for me to get older to start liking barbecue sauce? Like, um, I like the barbecue sauce. I've always liked the barbecue sauce that my mom has made. And I, of course, it's because I grew up having her barbecue sauce. But even at times when I was younger, I'd be like, put sauce on the side and then I just dip whenever I wanted to. But you really don't like barbecue sauce. Yeah, she ain't really a big barbecue sauce fan. But I do like, I don't know how she make her fucking barbecue sauce. I know she get like an off brand from the store and then she start adding in her own shit. And that shit is good. But it took me to get older to like want barbecue sauce on my barbecue all the time. I'm big on hot sauce now. I like when I was younger, I didn't like it. I got from New Orleans. That was pretty good. Yeah. I think it's called like. Slap your mom? Yes. The, the, gr- the green? Yep, slap your mom. So the green means that it's not as hot as the red, right? The green is mild and the red is hot. So I like the green sauce because yeah, it ain't as hot. But yep. that shit hella good on chicken when you know. I, I started back eating chicken too, yeah. So Wow. Look at you go. I had to because like I can't keep making a meal for my daughter and then a different meal for me. Like fuck that. I ain't got one that much patience to be in the fucking kitchen cooking all goddamn day. And two, you know, whatever. Whatever happened to you don't pick what you eat. You eat what I cook, or you if you don't want to eat, then you don't eat at all. Well, because my kid is a very choosy, picky eater. Secondly, I don't know how to cook a lot of things. So one thing I do know how to cook is chicken. <laughs> like chicken, fish, and she don't eat shit fish. Which if she did, cool, because I could come up with a whole bunch of different fish, shrimp, salads with you know what i'm saying but she don't eat all that stuff like if she could have it she would eat chicken all the time baked grilled fried she's just died like and she can eat. Side. huh died and laid to the side hold on let me let me check on him give me a minute keep talking who is that naki yeah he's chewing what are you chewing on everything because ain't nobody paying attention to him That's my BB. Okay. So while Disha is doing that, we're going to move on to another St. Louis fact. Oh, she's back. I hit your head against the wall. I'm sorry. Call the motherfucking people on your ass, motherfucker. Is he right there? No, he went away. No. Okay. The next St. Louis fact is hotels in St. Louis were the first to offer its guests a chocolate on their pillows. I ain't never getting no motherfucking chocolates for. I never, I never got that. I never got, and I didn't know that. But I never, I never got that. Have you? They said hotels. So have you gone to a lot of hotels, or are you going to motels? That's crazy, bro. I'm a hotel type of gal. I bet you are, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, everybody. <laughs> no, but I ain't never uh I ain't never get no chocolate on my damn pill in my hair. That's what I said, like when we, we were kind of talking about this earlier, and I've only gotten chocolate on my pillow once. And that was because and I, obviously I don't visit hotels in St. Louis often because I can just fucking go home. That's but, what I'm saying. Um, I have been to a few hotels in St. Louis and that was only done for me once, and that was at the Lumiere. So No, I've been out of I got chocolate. Out of town? Mm-hmm. Maybe because you from this state, they be like, oh, fuck it. We ain't got to do her. That's crazy. Discrimination <laughs> <laughs> against their own, they own uh, resident? Yeah, they like, oh, this is for people out of state so that they, they can leave us good remarks on their website. We ain't got to get D-shade none. Mm-hmm. Hey, girl, I don't leave no fucking uh, No chocolate. 
Yeah. Uh, speaking of chocolate, have y'all demolished your Easter basket? I've been working on it. Ladybug finished that motherfucker in two days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. It was way more candy in her Easter basket than it was in y'all's. Oh, my God. So it, I, was a lot, it was a lot in y'all's, too, wasn't it? Yeah, I had to take a break because my, my gold tooth started hurting. Nah, I I mean, I ain't put hella more in hers, but I tried to keep it even. But she probably had maybe like eight more pieces in y'all. That shit is gone. Two That's days. Crazy. The third day I came up here, I was like, damn, I need something. Because I didn't leave myself no candy. I just put it in y'all. Well, actually, I left myself two pieces of um those eggs because I love Cadbury eggs. So I ate <laughs> At first, I thought you were setting me up for the okie doke. I thought you were setting me up for the chocolate with that little dumb white shit in the inside. I like that. I, like I like the caramel. Yeah, I was like, oh, and then they had a Reese one. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, so I went in her room to kind of to just get a small, like not even chocolate. Uh, I like sweet candy, like um, nile those little nile letter things that was in there. Jolly hey, Ranchers, the soft Jolly yeah. Ranchers. Yeah. <laughs> So I came in there, I'm looking at her basket, I'm feeling all around the grass and shit. I said, so you ate all this candy? And she was like, yes. That's and crazy. I was like, you need to brush your teeth all day. I was like, dude, I'm so motherfucking mad that you ate all this candy in one day. She was like, I saved some for the next day. Two days, nigga. You ate a bag of candy. And, and I'm telling y'all, this ain't no small ass Easter basket I got them. These are like I'm a, I'm gonna probably put it pop in a picture, but these are some nice ass big ass Easter baskets. Speaking of, I need y'all's back. Does it have? All right, so let me get into the next fact. We may not be able to do five facts because you know we running low on time. So the next fact is kindergarten was first founded in St. Louis by Susan Elizabeth Blow. Now, keep in mind on these random facts, I haven't done a lot of research on that, but so what was other states doing if they didn't have kindergarten? Was it just, is it, do we go kindergarten, preschool? Preschool, kindergarten. No, I thought, I thought it was preschool, then kindergarten. I just said that. I mean, I thought it was kindergarten, then preschool. No. What well, was it? was like three. But what you learned in preschool that you don't learn in kindergarten? colors how to write letters is preschool is more like a fucking daycare kind of thing uh, maybe that's why because so they get at a certain age and then sending their ass off when they got five or however, or however. so she i'm still i'm gonna have to look at that because this old no other state was doing kindergarten probably not that's crazy. I got to figure out what year that that was on her. Okay. And one of the last ones, it says this city is famous for offering multiple free tourist destinations that families and individuals can take advantage of while visiting the famous Anheuser-Busch Clydesdale horses called St. Louis home. Of course, we all knew that, um, which I've never been in Anheuser-Busch and I ain't never seen the Clydesdales in person. I ain't never seen them Clydesdales. I've seen them on TV. I ain't never seen them in person. I ain't never seen them. Uh, I ain't never seen them at no parade or anything. Me neither. But I, I don't go. Re I don't really go out. So you know, there's that. No, but was they? Were they? Were they ever at the Minute Parade? Probably. I don't know. You think the Minute Parade gonna happen this year? No. You know, it ain't been the same since it left Natural Bridge Kings Highway. You know what I'm saying? I've only been one time since it's been downtown, and that was so fucking whack. So I mean. I'm I only been down there one time when it was since it's since it moved down there, and I got a I got a uh, my skin got burned, so I ain't never been back. So the first year that they decided to hold it downtown was the year that I went, and it was so fucking wet, and I just decided that that's not what what's meant for me. Kings mm -hmm. Highway and Natural Bridge was where it's at. <laughs> I remember I remember when me and uh our brother walked through uh walked through there and then and the cop was like he was like yeah you guys gonna have to get out he was like, all right man we yeah. like walk hellas with the with the like literally in the parade why y'all had to get out like get oh y'all was walking in the parade 
He was literally walking in the parade. Y'all stupid. That's some ignorant ass shit. I can see him doing. You talking about Kenny? Nope. David? Mm-hmm. I can't see David doing that, but I can definitely see Kenny ignorant ass doing that shit. No. Okay. All right, so that is all for our St. Louis facts. I also wanted to um, discuss something that I won recently. I got about 10 minutes. Um, Something that I want. So y'all know with us being on quarantine, we got to do things to keep ourselves busy around the house. Um, Are you leading to this with it? Yeah, we got to fucking do something to keep our brains going or just to keep us guys doing you guys screwing <laughs> that's what i'll be doing <laughs> to keep us entertained especially if we're quarantining with children without a spouse so april 9th i attended a uh party it was hosted by this company called we vibe and we vibe is based out of canada they do not sponsor this podcast at all i just want to talk about them real quick and they um, basically are a comp- they're a company who manufactures and sells adult sex toys. So they had a, a Zoom meeting and I attended and they had like giveaways and they had a doctor talking about, you know, basically how to entertain yourself during this quarantine. If you live with babes, some of the things that y'all can do. If you don't live with babes, some of the things that y'all can do. Um, just because a lot of people have been reporting that uh, domestic violence rates have been going up. Uh, really? Yeah, since people have been on quarantine, I guess you've been in the house all day with each other and you can't leave. It's just kind of, you know. So she was just kind of talking about things that you could do. And then, like, more people, quote unquote, are inquiring about divorce. <laughs> so, <laughs> motherfuckers out here wild and they hate each other. They hate to be in the house with one another. So, anyway, she was talking about that. And then, so they went into like um, the question mode of the. Um, meeting and so you had to get the question right and you had to be the first person to get it right on a zoom meeting so the question that they asked was what country was the oldest sex toy found and for some reason i don't know why i knew this answer but i was like quick on it i heard it i read an article about this years ago probably when i was a teenager and it just never left my mind and the country was germany I can't remember what, I think it was like a small bullet um, is what the oldest sex toys. And it, of course, it's been updated throughout the years. And I don't remember what year it was, but I just remember the country was Germany because when I read that article, I was like, damn, Germany is way ahead of us. Like, damn. Everybody is. Huh? Everybody is. Seems to be that way. So, um, what's today? So, Thursday... I got my box that they gave me. Your box. This box. Now, this box is valued at $350 US. And um, it's pretty nice. Um, it's got 10 individual boxes in here. I'm just, I've already looked at everything in here. So I'm not doing an unboxing. I thought about doing an unboxing and having uh, my mama jump on here with us. To do the unboxing just because I know it's gonna make her feel hella uncomfortable and I like to embarrass her. But these are the 10 boxes that come in the big box, and each box has like something different in it. And I didn't realize until I started opening shit is that the boxes tell you kind of what's in it. In yeah, each- I was gonna say number eight got like a more control up in it. Eight like has a, a vibrator in it. Yeah, it got like a bullet. This one is lube. Um, this, I think this one is another vibrator. This is can a candle. So, you know, y'all kind of get the gist. I'm thinking about still doing an unboxing video just cause I, I'm kind of interested in, you know, y'all looking at this just in case it's something that y'all want to purchase. But, um, yeah, I was like hella excited because I'm not one to just go on websites and just purchase sex toys. Like, nah. That one day expensive as a motherfucker. So uh, I was like, you know, the fact that I can win something like this without having to do much or nothing but answer a damn question, that worked for me. Um, this company, WeVibe, also has a um, an adult toy that I'm highly interested in, and it's called the WeVibe Sync. And it is a vibrator that... Hey, 10 minutes, ma'am. Huh? Pass your 10 minutes. All right. I got six more minutes. I just didn't want to hear about this name. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So it's a it's a vibrator that um, can be used with both partners, or if you like me and Bay is away in a different household, different city, state, country, you can insert it and in then or place it, and then they can put an app on their phone and they could control the vibrations. Oh, it's just like the other, the other toys. No, this is kind of a new thing. No, I'm saying it's, it's like it's like they have other toys that's like that for your for your partner to control. Is it through an app? It's not it's not through an app. It's more so like a remote control kind of thing. Yeah, I've saw things like that before, but I thought this one was hella fire because for long distance for people who are in long distance relationships who can't be there to quarantine with one another or who just don't get to be with each other all the time physically. Bay can put a fucking app on his or her phone. You put the toy wherever you see fit and they can control the vibrations of it. Or you can um, link it to your um, playlist and the music from your playlist can control the vibrations. And I was like, you got to be one smart motherfucker to come up with some shit like that. So yeah. um, the last time I checked it out and I will like, put all of we vibes information in the podcast in case anybody's other interested i know it seems like talking about sex or talking about um adult toys seems a, a tad bit taboo to some people but this is my comfort zone i enjoy talking about things like this whether y'all enjoy hearing it or not i don't really give a fuck because this is 2j podcast and we run shit how we see fit so um yeah highly interested in it and if that's something that you know if you and bay are not in the same place or even if you are in the same place and you want to do some spontaneous random shit around the house without if you have children the children knowing what's going on uh this toy is probably for you it's on sale now and i think it is like 129 dollars. don't quote me on that though i'm gonna put the price and shit all in here but um yeah, I was just like, that's kind of that's kind of cool um, that it could be controlled by an app on your phone because we all on our phones all the time. Right. You you know, it can be controlled on the app on your computer. I'm never on my computer. You don't do homework on your computer. That's homework, man. That's a serious. You're on it. That's a serious topic. You're on it though. I would not want nobody to turn a vibrator on while I was doing my damn homework, Bruh. I just getting ready to say that I would love for somebody just to randomly turn the motherfucker on while I'm doing something, some just random shit around the house. Like if I'm working or doing my homework and they just hit me with a buzz, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's crazy, man. You, you wouldn't want that for real? My damn homework. But you at home, and then like you in what if I could say if you was in school, like in class in front of a teacher, and they buzzed you, and it's like, oh god, this is not the right time. But I, I think even still, it would make me laugh. Mm. Damn, BJ. Mm. That's okay. Anywho, so that's all we have for this episode. Um, if you guys feel the need to reach out to us, you can holler at us on Instagram or Twitter at Two J Podcast. Um. If you want to send us drink recipes, listener letters, we still do listener letters. We're not really getting a lot of responses now. And we don't know why, because y'all niggas ain't got nothing but time. Send us something. Drink Probably suggestions. Trying to avoid us. Huh? Probably trying to avoid us. We can't avoid us. We ain't going no motherfucking word. We dropping twice a week. We ain't going no motherfucking word. So, mm-hmm. 2 Podcast at gmail.com for listener letters, drink recipes, you need advice, anything like that. Also, with these Zoom meetings, if y'all want to jump in on our Zoom meetings, feel free. Just hit us up first and ask us like the links and all that stuff if you're interested in being a guest. Um, until then, yeah, huh? Yeah, no, go ahead. Until then, peace be with you. Stay home. Only leave for essential items. Kiss your kids and hug your dog. Peace. <laughs>